morning pals happy monday welcome back to the vlog so as i said in last week's vlog um i actually filmed three days worth of footage and then didn't put it all in the vlog because it was getting really long and apparently i just have a lot to show you lately um so before we go any further i'm gonna recap you back to last week and then i'll catch you back here in a sec <laughs> happy thursday oh my god how is it thursday already um i am in office this morning um just been out for a spot of breakfast which was very nice i say spot of breakfast i actually had a donut because i already had breakfast i don't normally eat breakfast till like 10 o'clock in the morning um but this morning i just woke up starving i was like i need to eat something immediately and then um lou got up and he was like should we go out for breakfast and i'm like oh i just ate I don't want to go out for breakfast i'm like but i do want to go out so i went out for a cup of tea and a donut and he had some breakfast um but i'm in the office now um and i think i spoke to you yesterday about the um rent in a shelf in this um shop that i'm going to be in which is very exciting um and i've been trying to figure out what products i want to send off to them and i think i've like just about got it mailed which is super exciting but there are a couple of extra little things that i need to get sorted out um ready for that one of which is getting some business cards so that i can um have them on the display so that people know like who i am and what i do and i spent some time designing those last night let me show you okay. you might be able to see that it's got like sellotape on it obviously it won't have sellotape on it when i actually have them printed um but i just wanted to make one up so that i could see roughly what it would look like and it's double-sided and my printer doesn't really like to do double-sided printing very well and um, she generally doesn't line it up correctly um so i am gonna outsource these um but this is the front and it's just got like me and who i am and then on the back it's got like all my details and qr code which if you scan that it takes you to like a page which has like all my stuff on it and it's like what do you want to do you want to watch me on youtube follow me on instagram go to my shop and they're all there as like little options um so i thought those were kind of cute and like these same photos are the ones i use like everywhere on like they're all over my website on my instagram on my youtube so it kind of made sense to have like the photo on there um because i did a while back do like a, a little me kind of graphic illustration um and it's cute but i don't love it i don't feel like it really represents me whereas obviously me represents me so that's the business card which i spent some time designing and i also thought um what would be really nice for this shop because it is a gift shop um and i really wanted to get some prints in there i thought i could do the um sushi print which was in the cutie sushi box but i thought because it's a gift shop i don't know if people are in there buying prints but i thought if i turn it into a postcard that might be nice for a little gift shop so i'm gonna actually change this and not have this kind of like pinkish border on the outside um, i'm gonna have the the print fill the entire um, image on there and then it's like this on the bag with a little soy fish i thought that was kind of cute um i'm not sure whether to actually add this to my website or not because this print was kind of like the one from the qe sushi box um so i don't think i'm going to add it to my website but it's kind of a bit of an exclusive for um the shop i thought they could have the print as a postcard um I'd love to do more like postcardy type prints as well um with like lots of different illustrations and um characters and scenes and stuff on but it's just something that I've never really done up until this point because I thought I wasn't very good at it <laughs> and I kind of thought like my illustrations are not kind of full scenes like a lot of my stuff like greeting card stuff is just like a single character with like a little 
a little quip on there. And I thought I wasn't very good at drawing like full scenes, but actually I can kind of do full scenes and, um, you know, it, it's, yeah, I'm not as terrible at that as I thought it was basically. So I think I might be brave enough to do that a bit more going forward. So I'm not going to release anything through August because it's just not going to work out. Um, and I think I already said earlier, but like, I would, I would have really liked to have done a second sale, but I'm like this close to burnout and I don't think that's going to be a very good idea as we're approaching the summer holidays. So um, know your limits, people. Know your limits, set some boundaries and be like, you know what? I can't do that. And that's actually OK. Um, so, yeah, that's not going to happen. But there will be then a goodie box, goodie bag of some description um, in September, which will release at the end of September. So that will kind of be like stuff that you'll want throughout October. So I'm thinking that's going to be like autumnal, Halloween-y type. I haven't really got that down yet. Um, but that would be nice to do some prints based off of that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, I think everything I do going forward, I would love to do some kind of like postcard type prints. That might be fun. And yeah, if I'm putting in an order for like prints and business cards now, I kind of also want to be putting in an order for the next sort of prints and business cards, even though they won't be coming out for a while. Um, so maybe I'll do some drawing today. I'm not entirely sure. I at least want to have a look and see what else I could be sending off for, because I'm also doing, um, I need to restock the QT Sushi key rings because the last of the stock I have here, I'm going to be sending off to the shop. Um, so I'm going to have to restock those. And I'm going to try a different manufacturer this time. There was absolutely nothing wrong with um, the ones I've had thus far, but I have seen another manufacturer that uses a slightly different printing method, and I think they might be better. So I'm going to try those. And while I'm at it, I'm like thinking if I'm going to order key rings, uh, sushi key rings from them, I might as well try and get some other key rings that I'm going to want for like going forward as well just to save on postage so I'm not paying double postage and so that it all kind of arrives together um this is like gonna be a whole new way of thinking for me like batching stuff together and being a bit more intentional about what I'm ordering because at the minute I just am like oh yeah I'll order that and I just order like one product at a time but really I should be ordering like several products from the same manufacturer and yeah just getting it all in like one one go um forward planning i'll admit not my forte um but you know what we're gonna try we're gonna try really hard to do a little forward planning and you know um see how that goes we'll see um so yeah first things first i'm gonna get the postcard print ready um it's like i say i fiddled with it last night but I just want to change the design on the front slightly so I'm going to get that ready and get it uploaded into the um manufacturer's system whatever it is that they use um you can upload it and see a preview before you actually have it printed um so I'm going to get that done and then from there we'll see I might do some I might I probably am going to end up doing some drawing today um which will be fun because I feel like I'm really I really want to draw lately and I haven't had that much opportunity so yeah I'd really like to do that as well but first let's just get on with ordering some business cards and prints
have got quite a way through um, this little Heidi and Womkin uh, illustration, um, which I wasn't really planning on doing today, but I thought it was cute. Um, so we're just rolling with it. It's obviously not finished, but oh, so far I'm, I kind of like it. You probably saw in that time lapse that I did like a fancy background with like all trees and stuff in it and then I really hated it so I just deleted it. <laughs> um, and I think I might just keep it a bit more simple in the background just with like their little tent and then the stars in the sky which I haven't quite got to doing yet. Um, but yeah, I'm liking how it's coming out so far. I think that's going to make a cute little postcard print. Um, and that's the main reason that I've started doing it because if I'm going to order some postcard prints I want to order like a few different ones so that once I'm kind of back to work in September I've got some stuff kind of ready to go um that would be quite nice but um yeah so far I'm liking it all right pals it has taken me so flipping long to get anything done today <laughs> like my brain is not really working the way it should be I don't think today um I spent a long time drawing a Wumpkin and Heidi postcard um, because I've sent off for some other postcards and I was like, do you know what, let's throw a Wumpkin and Heidi one in there as well um, because I'm really like thinking about all the autumn stuff I want to do um, and can't get it out of my head basically so I was like, let's just make a start on that um, but the things that I needed imminently were um, business cards and the sushi postcard print um which i will be sending off to the shop that i'm going to be stocked in so that's a load of fun i don't know if i've shown you the display let me show you the display the light is really bad so that's annoying but um this is what the display looks like so far these um like hooks on the bottom of the toe tracks i am going to cut off i think i said that earlier in the video um but I, so those will be like flatter to the ground like this one. Um, we're going to have the print, a couple of um, the Barney and Slug pins, the Cutie Sushi pins, Cutie Sushi key rings and Cutie Sushi washi tape. And I'm going to do three, maybe six card designs. My issue is that um, like I don't think people will rifle through them. So if I do more than three designs, people just aren't going to see them. But I think I might send more than three just so that the shop have got a choice and if something sells out, they can like replace it. Um, but I don't think that looks too shabby. So the things I still need to do are to get prices on everything. And yeah, that's actually pretty much it. I just, I need to get prices on everything, um, which I'm not gonna get done today because honestly my brain is fried from um, drawing that postcard. Like. It's really funny because like I really love drawing stuff and I get such a like buzz once I'm done because I'm like oh my god I made a thing um but it's also really tiring and you don't realize how tiring it is until you stop so um yeah I'm gonna probably just call it a day here and come back to figuring out the stock and everything maybe tomorrow um maybe next week, maybe over the weekend. Who knows, at some point I will get around to doing it. Good morning, pals. Happy Monday, welcome back to the vlog. Um, Today, we are, what are we doing? I need to carry on prepping the stock to go off to the gift shop um, and everything has to be priced. And generally I don't put the prices on stuff. Um, I often do like a backing card for everything, um, but I don't actually include a price on there just because I don't really know why. I don't print them double-sided and it seems a bit odd to have the price on the front, I think. Um, also, you don't really want the price like permanently attached, do you? Because if somebody gives it as a gift, then they're going to have to give it with the price on. So I need to go and make pricing stickers for everything that I'm currently doing, um, which means I'm going to put these pricing stickers on the back of everything, I think, um, because if the price is not clear, I think people will like pick it up and look at the back looking for a price. Um, so yeah, although I think I'm going to do all these pricing stickers on the back, but I have to actually make the pricing stickers first. And I have to make some stickers for the key rings as well, um, because they can't be displayed on their backing cards 
with this kind of setup that I have going on. Um, so that's going to be what I'm starting off with today. Um, starting off with making loads of different stickers for pricing and for um, just labelling up my stuff, ready to go off to the shop. Um, I also, if you don't know what shop I'm on about, by the way, um, it was in last week's vlog. Um, but basically, I am renting a shelf in a sort of semi-local gift shop um, to see how well my stuff does there. So we shall, we'll see how it goes. So I don't normally do that many like prints because I've always kind of thought like I'm not very good at um, drawing an entire scene. And I don't want to just put prints out that are kind of like, it, like similar to the cards that I do. They kind of are just like a character with a quote. I didn't want prints to just be that I'd rather than be like a standalone kind of art work I guess um so I've always kind of not really done prints for that reason that I just kind of thought I'm not very good at drawing like a whole scene but I did this as part of the cutie sushi goodie box um and from there I then also went on and did this little sushi train print um and I'm kind of just getting into like doing whole scenes at this point like i have kind of done a few already i've got this one up here which was the little thank you card from the anxiety um goodie bag um so yeah i've kind of just i'm kind of just getting into like drawing entire scenes and like getting comfortable with that which is really really cool and then i kind of thought well i'd like to send some prints off to the gift shop but i don't really know if prints will sell very well but it's a gift shop and I was like, what might sell a bit better potentially are postcards. And I know a lot of people collect postcards. I know a lot of people sell postcard sized prints. Um, annoyingly, my phone just died mid chat, um, which is not very much fun, is it pals? Um, and I've no idea what I was saying because I waited so long for it to charge up a little bit and turn back on. Um, but. I'm going to get on with making the various stickers and labels that I have to get made today. It is coming up for half past 12 just now, so I'm gonna stop here, go and get a cup of tea and make myself some lunch. And this afternoon I'm not coming back in here because I have to go out. It is the last week of term, which means there are 
all sorts of things happening at school with the kids that I need to be like on top of um so yeah I won't be back in here this afternoon but I will be back in here tomorrow I'm not entirely sure what we'll be doing tomorrow because I have to wait basically now until the art prints get here um it'll probably just be Etsy orders and assuming I get any more Etsy orders overnight like that was a big assumption wasn't it um so yeah tomorrow will just be I'm not really sure apart from orders um I might have a bit of a tidy up in here to be honest because it feels like it's getting like really messy um well it feels like it's getting really messy no it just is really messy in here because like tidying up is just at the back of my mind when it's like orders to get done like products to launch like yeah yeah we'll tidy up later um so like all my drawers are such a shambles right now um so maybe i'll do that tomorrow we'll see um but for now i bid thee farewell <laughs> So yeah, I just spent the whole day on the computer, which was really unexpected. Um, I fully intended on coming in here, but I kind of lost track of time um, and then had to quickly come in here and do my Etsy orders in a bit of a rush because I was like, oh, I need to get these done um, before I go off on the school run. So yeah, that was that. Um, but today I have just packed up my little display that I've had on the desk um, for the real life shop that i'm sending my stock off to and um, so i've just packed that up um, i'm still waiting for the postcards and business cards to arrive i think they're coming on friday but i'm not 100 sure um so yeah i can't actually send it off yet but i've got most of it packed up and i've written a little inventory list and um taken the stock off of my etsy and my website that's gone into that box because I'm not going to have it anymore it will be elsewhere so i can't sell it they have to sell it um what have we got to do today etsy orders first and foremost um what else i feel like there was something else i was going to do oh i had a cute idea for a birthday card so i might sit and draw that um and aside from that i can't really remember what else i'm supposed to be doing i'm sure there was something that I was like, hmm, I need to get that done. And I've forgotten what it was. Um, mostly I'm kind of just working on like little bits and bobs, like nothing major at the minute. Um, so I really needed to get like some prints and stuff done to go off to the shop, but that's done now. I've kind of started looking into what I'm gonna launch in September, um, just because I kind of, I've been saying this for weeks and weeks, but I really want to like up my game when it comes to like what I'm ordering in um, and ordering like a bigger variety of products and uh, just kind of make it so that aside from goodie bags, there is actually other stuff that you can get. Because if you kind of take the goodie bags away, there up until recently, there hasn't really been that much kind of generic stock. Um, 
so I do need to restock a couple of things. I'm going to restock the Cutie Sushi key rings. Um, I'm going to restock the Barney and Slug badges because I just put the last of those in there. I really want to try and get them done as enamel pins, but I don't know if that's going to work out at the minute. Um, the Cutie Sushi pin was was my very first enamel pin and per unit the cost difference between getting enamel pins and acrylic pins is not that much but the thing is you can only buy enamel pins in quantities of minimum 50 um, and it's really not cost effective to buy them in a quantity of 50 it's more cost effective to buy them in a quantity of 100 and like I say, it's not that much different per unit when you're buying an enamel pin versus an acrylic pin. But when you times that difference by 100, that's a lot more money. It's just that like you have to have that amount of cash up front. And I'm not going to lie, currently I don't. Um, so to do the, the sushi pins, I basically took all... The profit from a single goodie bag launch and put that all into getting the enamel pins done so i basically launched one product which has lots of products in it but i launched one thing and all of that money went towards getting the cutie sushi enamel pins um and yeah i'm not gonna be able to do that at the minute as much as i'd really like to get those acrylic badges made into enamel pins yeah, I just don't know. I just don't think it's doable. It's not doable right this minute, at least. Like, we'll see how things go through the summer, but um, yeah, we shall see. Especially when there are other things that I desperately want to order in as well. There are key rings I want to get in, there are washi tapes I want to get in, um, and just like general stuff that I want to restock. So yeah, those are things that I'm kind of thinking about, but not really doing much with right now, because I'm like, getting ready to wind down for the summer like this is my last working week or full working week I will still be working through the summer but I won't be filming very much and um it will be very chill um so this is like my last kind of tied up loose ends kind of week so it feels a little bit all over the place if I'm quite honest but um you know tis what tis um right should we just do some Etsy orders and then see where we go from there just filmed an entire segment of me drawing this um hippo birdie design um hopefully other people have heard of this i feel like this is a really common thing and now i'm thinking about it i'm like i've never actually had anyone else say that before um hippo birdie happy birthday um yeah so i filmed an entire segment of me actually drawing this and my phone died mid-film and it seems like i've lost the footage which is really annoying but i'm now printing out a bunch of these hippo birdie cards um because i might send some off to the shop as a little kind of last minute edition i think they actually came out really freaking cute are they adorable i'm actually not sure why i printed so many because um 
apparently I'm expecting this to be like an instant bestseller or something. Um, oh well, at least I've got them. I've put six in the box to go off to the shop already. So I've got five more here. A little hippo birdie. Um, yeah. Do you know what? It took me so long to draw a hippo because apparently I have no idea what hippos look like. And then I drew one that was kind of more realistic looking than this. And I just hated it. And then I deleted it and was like, what does a hippo actually look like? Um, there's my hippo. Um, anyway, I think that's going to be it for this week, pals. Um, it feels like it's been a little bit all over the place, as per usual. Um, I'm not entirely sure what my vlog schedule is going to look like over the summer. Um, but like and subscribe if you haven't already, then you won't miss out on any content that I do post up over the summer and beyond. Um, if you also want to keep up to date with any new shop updates and stuff I'm doing, join my mailing list. Um, it's the links in the description. I'm not planning any launches over the summer, but if anything changes, that is the place that you will find out first. So if you want to keep up to date with what's going on with me in the shop and all that jazz, make sure you hit like and subscribe and join that mailing list. So that's it pals and I will see you next time. Thank you.